Cinderella, close the window! Cinderella, my reticule! Cinderella, close the window! Cinderella, white gloves! Cinderella, make some tea with honey! Cinderella, iron my dress if I'll need it! Cinderella, lay out my gown for this evening! Cinderella, wash my gloves for tomorrow! Cinderella, it's freezing! It's Cinderella, hold the fire! Cinderella, close the window! Really, Cinderella? Cinderella, really? It's freezing! Close the window! Close the window! Close the window, Cinderella! Now, my daughters, I want to talk to you. Well, not to you. I want to talk to my real daughters. <laughs> That girl always wants to sit down. No wonder she never gets anything done. Now, Joel. And prudence. Yes, ma'am. And patience. Yes, ma'am. As you well know, my little Moppets, this may be the most important year of your lives. The prince has returned from his studies abroad, and this ball that's being given in his honor is for one purpose only. They want him to choose. A bride! <laughs> Every girl in the kingdom wants to marry the prince, including you, Prudence. Uh -huh. And you, Joy. Uh. And you, Patience. Uh-huh. Oh, on our shopping tour today, I bought you the most beautiful materials and all the frills and fruit through my purse could afford. So, whether or not you marry the prince, you'll have to marry somebody this year. Yes, ma'am, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, now, my darlings, uh, there's one thing you must remember. When you want to marry a man, you can't rely on your beauty. Now, please, I want you to show off your intellect as well as your beauty. Do you understand? Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> and the joy. I want you to live up to your name. I want you to be vivacious and alert, as well as beautiful. Whatever. <laughs> and patience. You must not fidget when you meet the prince. <laughs> that does not mean, however, that I want you to neglect your appearance. Our family has always been well known for its oh, fascinating <laughs> So, now, let's all go upstairs and get our beauty sleep. I'm exhausted from all that shopping. Oh, I'm going to have to get a massage tomorrow. That's the only thing that does me any good. A good pounding. <laughs> That's what your father used to say. <laughs> I'm all tired out too, Ma. Going from store to store the way we did. You're tired. Yes, I'm tired. Uh, I suppose you think you're the only one that's tired. Well, we fought the most. That has nothing to do that's with that. You you <laughs> too bad. Leave me alone. You're always thinking of me. your voices. <laughs> and you, don't just sit there gaping at me. T tie me up these tea things. Yes, ma'am. I wonder why they're all so tired, looking at all those beautiful things and buying so many of them. I was too excited to be tired. Oh, I love this room. When they've all gone out and there's nobody here but me. Right here. Hi, 
Oh, hello, my boy. I thought you were going riding. I am, sir. The groom is bringing my horse round at three o'clock. Oh, Christopher, let me ask you. Are, are you feeling all right? Yes, sir, father. You're, you're not unhappy or anything like that, are you? Why, no, father. That's what I thought. That's fine. It seems to me, sir, that you look a little tired. Oh, uh, I am. Every time I think about that darn ball, you know, the one you're giving with my money? That. Well, to tell you the truth, sir, it isn't a night I'm looking forward to either. Dancing with all those candidates. Candidates? Every simpering girl in the kingdom, each one determined to show me that she'd be the perfect princess for me. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's a lot more fun to chase one girl than to be stampeded by a whole herd of them. <laughs> one thing's for sure, I won't be marrying anybody I meet at this ball. Yeah, I understand. I know exactly how you feel. I feel the same way. Except, Christopher, there's one thing we have to remember. Your mother has her heart set on giving this affair. I know. So, if you talk to her, don't tell her how you really feel. I mean, you, you know, act like, you know, you really like the idea. You know what I mean? Make, make her feel good about it. Now, I'll tell you if we do. Oh, 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 hello, my dear. Mother. 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 I was just saying how much I'm looking forward to this ball. It sounds wonderful. It's, I was wondering if there's anything I could do to help you. Well, well yes, dear. Per perhaps there is. The groom has brought my horse around. <laughs> something for it. You don't want to have a red nose at the ball. I'll be over by then. <laughs> Maisie. Yes? That boy isn't unhappy. How do you know? I asked him. He said he's feeling fine. Did he? Do you know something? What? I love you. Naturally. I'm the king. <laughs> that has nothing to do with
thought she might be lonely and I knew just what she'd be doing. What? I just knew that I'd find you in that same little chair in the pale pink mist of a foolish dream. What's wrong with that? Fally, rally, fiddly, dee, fiddly, fally, fool. All the dreamers in the world are dizzy in the noodle. What do you suppose every girl is doing tonight? I mean, every girl who isn't at the ball. She's dreaming and wishing she were really there. And why aren't you really there? My stepmother... Well, somebody had to mind the house. Do you know what I would do if I were you? I'd get out of the house. I'd get up and leave them. They treat you worse than any servant. If you want to be a servant, go somewhere where they'll pay you. You mean, leave my stepmother? I don't think if father were alive, he would like that. Do you think so? Aren't you going to invite me in? Oh. Forgive me, Godmother. Come round to the door. Don't bother. How did you get in? Oh, the window. The window? The window. Aren't you going to offer me some tea? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'll just light the fire. But it was out. And the kettle's hot. It's most curious. Flowers. But I'm sure you brought them, didn't you? Oh, I thought they might brighten things up. Your water's boiling. Please sit down. I'll have this in a minute. Thank you. You know, I'm so awfully glad you happened to come by tonight. I was getting very lonely. I thought you might be lonely. Godmother? Do dreams never, never come true? Well, I wouldn't say they never come true, just seldom. That's not very often, is it? Oh, darling, <laughs> you're a sweet goddaughter, but um, not very often is exactly what seldom is. I wish you believed in wonderful things. Oh. I wish you believed that once in a while something marvelous and magical could happen. Oh. I don't say that I don't believe that once in a while something marvelous and magical can't happen. For instance, do you believe in guardian angels? Oh, I don't say that I don't believe in guardian angels. But it's not good to believe too much in guardian angels and, and fairies. Why? Why not? You come to depend on them too much. You expect them to do things for you. You've got to take care of yourself. I know. I think about it a lot, but then I don't know what to do. And so I always wind up just wishing and dreaming. I don't suppose that does any good at all. Oh, I wouldn't say that doesn't do any good at all. Why, everything begins with a wish. Without wishes, nothing would happen. Do you know what I was wishing tonight? Just before you came? I can hardly wait to hear. <laughs> Did you see that pumpkin out there in the yard? The one I nearly tripped over in the dark. The moon is shining on it now. Well, I was wishing that that pumpkin would turn into a great, big, royal golden carriage that would take me to the ball tonight. And what were you going to do with your horses? White mice. Four white mice would turn into horses. Beautiful, white, prancing steeds. You were going to drive them yourself, I Oh, suppose. no. There'd be a coachman and a footman and two flunkies in the back seat. Where were you going to get those? They could be the four baby rats I saw down in the cellar yesterday. Oh. I know what you're going to say. Fall de Rall and Fiddle D. Yes, Fall de Rall and Fiddle D. It's impossible, I suppose. Impossible? <coughs> Just the same. It was what I was wishing, and I am still wishing it. You are? I'm wishing it very hard. <coughs> Nonsense. If impossible. only I had some kind of magical help. If only I had a guardian angel, or if my godmother were a fairy godmother. <laughs> I am wishing, in the name of every young girl who ever wanted to go to a dance and was told she couldn't, I am wishing that I may go to that dance tonight. I'm wishing that by some kind of magic or abracadabra or folder all in fiddly D, that all the kind hearts in the world will put their heads together. All the kind hearts will put their heads together? You know what I mean. That all the kind hearts and good souls will wish with me, and that you, Godmother, will help me with every ounce of strength and cleverness you possess. Impa! 
Impossible. Impossible. I suppose so. Impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carrot. Impossible for a plain country pumpkin and a prince to join in marriage. And four white mice must never be four white horses. But now we rally the lady of horses. Impossible.
you coming with me? Oh, no. I've been to so many of those things I couldn't stand another one. Besides, I've done my part. I've given you your wish. What happens from here out is up to you. But I'm afraid to go in there by myself. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just remember this. When the clock strikes 12, you have to be out of here. You have to be home and in the carriage before midnight. Why is it so important that I leave before 12? Don't ask any questions. Just do what you say. But Godmother. Go on, go. Don't forget. Nothing past 12. Yeah. 
Yes, it is. With the moon beaming down on us. What is it? I must go. Why? Because I, I promised my godmother. Your godmother will forgive you if you're a little late. Oh, no, she won't. You don't understand. I have a strange kind of godmother. <laughs> you're a strange kind of girl. You haven't told me your name yet. It's a silly name. You wouldn't like it. <laughs> of course I would. Whatever you are called, it's the most beautiful name in the world. Whatever your name is, I love you. I will always love you. You don't say anything. I just told you that I love you, and yet you don't say anything. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid I might wake up. Are you sure you're asleep? Oh, yes. Are you dreaming that I'm about to kiss you? It's strange how things happen. How a girl I never met before comes down a flight of stairs and suddenly I'm in a different world. I'm deeply in love, and yet I don't know why I'm in love. Do you? Do I what? Know why I'm in love. What did you think I meant? I thought you meant, do I know why I am in love? Oh, do you? I mean, are you? Oh, yes. And do you know why? No, but I don't care why. I always want to know why I do anything, why I feel anything, and so I ask myself, why you, a stranger, are suddenly the only kind of girl I could love, and why you're the only one of your kind. Why is the sound of your voice the sweetest sound in the world? Why is the color of your hair the only color a girl's hair should be? Why would I rather hold you in my arms than do anything else in the world? Why? Because, Your Highness. Christopher. Christopher. Because that's the way you feel. But why do I feel that way? What makes you so miraculous? Your imagination. Then what makes my imagination so miraculous?
say, girls? I would say about 10,000. Or 12. Or even 15. <laughs> it must be a very large ballroom at the house. About half a mile long. <laughs> oh, and what beautiful music for dancing. Did you dance too? Oh, I should say I did. I met an old foe of mine, and he practically monopolized me. Was he a good dancer? Oh, I should say. Light as a feather. <laughs> Did any of you get to dance with the prince? <laughs> Did any of us get to dance with the prince? Did you hear what she said? Did we get to dance? I danced about an hour with him. Oh, so did I. You danced about an hour with him? Didn't you? <laughs> of course I did. If you did. Did you know everyone there? Oh, practically everyone. All except the princess who came very late and left very early. I had no idea who she was. Did she dance with the prince? I think I saw her dancing with him once. <laughs> That's right, just once. Do you think he liked her? Yeah. Oh, well, he, she, was, she was only there a few minutes. Did you go to sleep right after we left? <laughs> no. I stayed up until a little after midnight. What were you doing all that time? Dreaming. Dreaming what? Oh, what it must be like at the ball. Oh, well, you just couldn't dream what it was like unless you were there. Well, I was trying to. Well, well you just put it. Maybe I have more imagination than you think. <laughs> I think I can almost feel what it must be like. Waiting for the night. And finally it arrives, and you put on the most beautiful dress you have ever worn in your life. And off you go. I think I can almost feel what it must be like. I imagine. I imagine. When you're driving through the moonlight on the highway.
walk? Yes. You stop walking? Yes. You talk? Then you stop talking? <laughs> That's right. Then you start thinking. Oh. Oh. Start thinking what? How wonderful it all is. How wonderful what all is? Everything. Find her. 
But I must find her. Before last night, you knew nothing about her. You know nothing about her now except that she danced prettily and looked pretty. I know she's the loveliest thing in the world. And I'll never be happy without her. Why do you think that? I don't know why. And I don't expect you to understand, Mother. But Christopher, I do understand. I know it doesn't take long to, to feel the way you do about this girl. But there is one fact I want you to face. You may never see her again. I don't want you to waste your life on a dream. I want you to be in love with a real girl. But she is real. She was real last night. But if she doesn't come back, she won't be real again, will she? Be honest with yourself. Does your future happiness really depend upon finding her? Or are you just telling yourself that? Don't be angry with me. Just listen to what I'm saying. Ask yourself if this is not just an illusion, an infatuation with something that doesn't exist at all. You're somewhere out there. I don't know where. Last night, you said we may be dreaming. Maybe you were right. Maybe Mother was right. How can I know? How can one ever know?
maidens in the household. No one else is here. What about Cinderella? Oh, nonsense! <laughs> Who's Cinderella? Oh, she's just a general helper in the chimney sweep. There'd be no use trying to slip her on her. But my orders are to try it on every eligible young maiden in the kingdom. Try upstairs. <laughs> Stick your nose in my business! I thought it was the prince's business. He's the one who's looking for the girl with the slipper, isn't he? Oh, but but Cinderella? Cinderella? She is a girl. <laughs> There's no one upstairs. There's no one upstairs. <laughs> I told you so. Isn't that just like Cinderella? I bet she hasn't even done my laundry. Or the floor. Or sleep in the fireplace. She's got to do it backwards. Cinderella's not upstairs. Where could she go? I know where she is. You tried every maiden in the kingdom, every young maiden that could be found. I'm sorry, your highness. Mother was right. Either she's fled the kingdom, or she doesn't exist at all. It was all just a foolish dream. wondering where I am. Your stepmother will forgive you if you're a little late. Stepmother will forgive you if you're a little late. Really, Your Highness, I must go. Yes, I suppose you must. Well, goodbye, Your Highness. Goodbye. Wait a minute. At least tell me your name. It's a silly name. You wouldn't like it. Silly name. Wouldn't like it. Has anyone tried this slipper on you? No, Your Highness. I still don't know your name. 
My name is Cinderella. The most beautiful name in the world. 